the edge of the base of a square pyramid is 7, the lateral edge is 10. So the edge of the base um, is this, these edges right here. They're, it's a square pyramid, so they're all 7. And the lateral edge is 10. The lateral edge is the where two faces meet along the side. So this is going to be 10. And we want to find the volume of the pyramid. So the volume of a pyramid is simply the volume of the prism divided by 3. So we first need to find the volume of the prism. So the volume of the prism is going to be the area of the base times the layers. Now here uh, we can quickly find the area of the base. The area of the base is the area of this square. It's just 7 by 7, so the area of the base is 49. However, we have to be careful about using 10 as the height. Uh, 10 is actually not the height of the pyramid. It's the lateral edge. What we actually need is the distance from this top point straight down perpendicular to the bottom. We need this as the height. So we're actually going to have to calculate that to figure out how many layers there are. These problems typically involve finding some right triangle to use the Pythagorean theorem. So we can draw the height straight down like this. Call it h. We know that that lateral edge here is 10. If I just figure out this one last side of this right triangle here that I'm highlighting in yellow, then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for h. If I drew this diagonal all the way across, I can take a look at this right triangle that's actually on the base of my shape. Here's the triangle. I'm redrawing it here. 7, this is 7. If I use the Pythagorean theorem here, um, I actually recognize that this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. I could also use the Pythagorean theorem, but uh, recognizing the 45, 45, 90 triangle is going to be quicker. I know that this is 7 root 2. That's the entire diagonal. That's this length here. Now, the part that I'm concerned about is only half of it, the part that's now a part of this yellow triangle as well. So that's going to be half of 7 rad 2. So that's going to be 3.5 root 2. So this yellow triangle here has sides h, 10, and 3.5 root 2. So if I do the Pythagorean theorem here, I can find h, 10 squared equals h squared plus 3.5 root 2 squared. So if we go back to our original strategy, we know that the volume of the prism that goes around this pyramid is the area of the base, which is 49, times the number of layers. And there are 8.69 layers. So we get the volume of the prism is 425.7646. So that would be the volume if all the layers were the same. Now, we know that all the layers are not the same. We know that we're dealing with a pyramid. So what we have to do now is 
divide the volume of the prism by three because we know the volume of the pyramid is one third of the volume of the prism. So we take that 425 and divide by three. So the volume of the prism is 141, or the volume of the pyramid is 141.92. Notice how the general principles were the same, that the volume of the pyramid is one-third the volume of the prism. Uh, the volume of the pyramid is just the area of the base times the layers. The big difference here, and a lot of the work that we had to actually do, is that we had to actually find the height. Now, in, in problems like this, they often give you some information, and you've got to calculate the rest. In this case, they gave us the lateral height and one of the, uh, or the edges of the base. We had to use what we do about the diagonals here of the square to calculate or to use this additional yellow highlighted triangle to find to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the height.